on, dude. Okay, so the craziest fucking shit's happening to me right now. So, back when I had a normal job and I worked during the day, I would... I've said this multiple times on the channel before, but I would always wake up in the middle of the night for no reason at 4.30 a.m. I don't know why. Just always fucking did, no matter what. If I woke up in the middle of the night, I didn't even need to look at my phone. I knew it was all. I already knew it was 4:30. It's like, yeah, fuck it. I don't know why. I still don't know what the actual witching hour is. Some people say the witching hour is 3 a.m. Some people say it's 4 a.m. And then you get the problem of what if it's fucking daylight savings time? All right. Does the witching hour abide by the laws of daylight savings time? Is that the reason why I can't figure out if it's 3 or 4? Does it literally depend on the time of the year, whether or not it's 3 or 4? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Alright, I don't fucking know. The point I'm trying to make is that I'm gonna score no money on this stage. Okay? Please? It's times 4, alright, there we go. Oh, explosion! No! Again with this shit! It's not a- There we go, thank you. Get one oil tanker, bare minimum. Nice. Alright. And that truck just slams into the side of it, but it doesn't explode it. Sure. Sure. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Alright. So yeah. Now, now that I'm working overnight, no matter what time I go to bed in the morning, I will always wake up at 4.30 p.m. It's like, why? You know, I'll wake up in the middle of the, in the middle of everything, you know, like I always did before. However, however, if I wake up at 4.30, it's like, all right, well, looks like I'm staying up because I'll literally try to go back to sleep. Literally, I will try to go back to sleep. And I can't. If I wake up at 2, I'll fall back asleep. If I wake up at noon, I'll fall back asleep. If I wake up at 10, I'll fall back asleep. If I wake up at 4.30, can't fall back asleep. It's always 4 fucking 30. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Do y'all like my Christmas tree? I think this episode is going to be released, like, on Christmas. Or, like, the week of Christmas. It should. We're getting festive for this episode here. Target achieved. I have won a car. Yay, I have won a car. And it's... A trash truck. Yeah, dude. Yeah, literally trash truck. I was I wanted to say garbage truck, but I said trash. I was gonna say trash. I was gonna try and combine garbage truck and trash master. Trash master from GTA. And I got trash truck, and that's literally what it's called. Freudian slip, ladies and gentlemen. Crashed out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached. Speaking of ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the final crash event. Oh man. We have come so far. And we have accomplished so little. <laughs> but here we are. Crashed out. The final crash event. Three ramps to choose from. And a downhill section, and bosses spawning into existence. What's draw distance? I don't know, man. $700,000 for the final crash event. And I do believe this is, in fact, the final crash event. And the, the, uh, the trash truck that I just unlocked is, in fact, the final unlockable vehicle. Where is the times four? I can't see the times four. There's the times four. We're heading great for it. Got it. What a way to conclude. What a way to conclude, dude. Oh, look at all these oil tankers. But I'm not near any of them. No. No, dude. Not for the final one. Oh. Oh, we missed the final tanker trucks. That's a shame. I got the one in the last one though, so I guess it's not the end of the world. I need 700,000, which means that I need 175,000 before the times four. And I think we got it, yep. Off the back of that alone. 
We have done it. Ladies and gentlemen, crash mode has now been completed. <laughs> there you have it. And I think we get a congratulatory cutscene after this loading screen here. Very cool indeed. The matches. Audio blood. Yvon Dahl killed the locals. Interesting choice for an album title. Now win gold medals on all races. You've completed the Burnout Crash Tour. Now complete all gold medal. I already did, thank you. And now you can see we have unlocked the final crash dollars because there is no new car total underneath that. So we end the regular game with 91,055,629 global crash dollar reduce. And there you have it. There's no more crash events. Now we've officially completed the Far East. We have not officially completed Europe. All that remains. The GPs. Oh no. Gold Unlock Special Event Postcard. Here it is. The end of the game. This is the end game right here. U.S. Circuit Racer. Crash Party. Oh, we're having a crash party. Up to eight players. Good lord. Wow, alright. Yeah. This is the ultimate final. Well, it's obviously not the final because, you know, there's still three events remaining, including this. But this is the final race event. Off to a smashing start. Just off to a spectacular beginning. Oh, I got... Well, I apparently had an aftertouch takedown there. But it doesn't matter because now I'm back to times one boost. And I'm in last. Alright, so, as you can plainly see... This was originally what um, kept me from 100%ing this game. Well, not technically 100%ing this game, because, you know, the stupid-ass uh, takedown targets. Um, this is basically the game that taught me how to win races by default. Which is doing the exact fucking opposite of everything that you've witnessed so far. Everything that you've seen me do so far, do not do it. Right, times three boost, which is not ideal. Second place is up, or first place is up there. First place. Okay, and we took him down. All right, took his ass down. Apparently that was revenge, which is the title of a burnout game. Wonder why. So this is how you win every single race by default, is you get times four boost, and you drive on the oncoming lane infinitely. Because driving on the oncoming lane gives you a lot of boost for some reason, especially on times four boost. So what you want to do is you want to be slamming down on the accelerator at all times, you want to be slamming down on the boost at all times, and basically if you don't suck, you will win every single race. Hello friend. Thank you. Thank you for the takedown. And every single takedown refills your your boost meter to full. So if you're in first, there is always going to be someone breathing down your neck. So if you run out of boost, well that's not the worst thing in the world. You can just stop boosting, let someone get alongside you, and then just quickly take them down. Basically, that's how you win every single race in this final post-game confrontation. Game. Oh, someone just got alongside me and then just creamed themselves. Okay. The Why am I stopped? Why did anything that just happened just happen? None of that made any sense. Um, I'm, I don't know. I need to find the leader so I can get... I can take his ass down. See, and then... But if you do fall back, then that's bad times, because they're not going to be spawning traffic in front of the leader. 
Oh my fucking god, dude. Okay. Got a car takedown. That's good. Okay. Now let's just start boosting. Boost to the end. There's a tram. If you don't have the tram takedown target like I do, not. Like I do not. There's a there's an ample opportunity location right there. Oh my good lord. And the car and this car drives really good. It turns. We're six seconds back, but I can make that up. See basically all the uh, all the practice that you put into special events is basically what's gonna pay off here. Because to win special events, you're always on times four boost and you're always going down the wrong side of the road. So basically. That's what you need to be doing in this. Now, I have no idea where the leader's at. I've probably gained no time, and of course there's someone right up my ass five seconds back. Over the course of that entire section, I gain exactly one second. And I'm out of boost. So, yeah. And obviously the AI doesn't play by uh, the same rules as you do. They do not have to get takedowns to get boost. They will always have boost. Take his ass down! Why did I slow down so much? Four. I was the only one that hit anything. Thank you. And now I'm fourth with times three boost instead of times four boost. Very cool indeed. All of this is very wonderful in general. Take down denied, no kidding. I'm aware. I'm aware of that fact. Why am I dead and no one else is? Times two boost. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Times one boost, I guess. Thank you. This is necessary. All right, whatever. I don't care. Just give me fucking boost. I have no boost. This game is dumb. And I don't like it very much. I'm a second ahead. Well, that doesn't really matter due to the fact that I have fucking times fucking two boosts. And this guy's not dying. Still not dying, in fact. This guy has an aversion to dying. I would have been very mad if I just died right there. Could someone die? Thank you. Two in a row, about a half minute after the first one. Because these guys refuse. They profusely refuse. And you're dead. Good. I'm glad. Hello, friend. Okay. Okay! Okay. Okay, Piglet. Oh, okay, Piglet! Sounds good to me. Oh my god, dude! How could that have not been a takedown? Where's the leader at? I don't have good boost. Oh my fucking god, why? Why? Why do you have to be like this? Cool. Now I'm fourth, and I have no boost. Even better! Why does it slow down so much? Die, you fucking asshole. Oh my god, dude. Oh, bus takedown. Cool. Unironically cool. That's actually good. If I got multiple of those, I think that's a target. That's a takedown target. Why does it slow down so much? Oh my fucking god, why? Why any of this? Why any of this? Honestly. What was that? That fucking guy hit the split just like I did and he didn't die. Oh yeah, he didn't fucking die. Yeah, he didn't fucking die when he hits the fucking split. Now I'm second to fucking last. Now I'm second to fucking last. Go, I don't care about the takedowns, just let me fucking drive. I'm fourth. Are you actually serious right now? I'm fucking fourth. And I have no idea where even third place is. I don't even know where third place is. Could you not? Cool. Now I'm fifth. With times three boost, might I add. Making up zero time on the leaders. On the final lap of this race. Fun times. Third place? Who the fuck knows where he is? You want to start talking to me about second and first place? I don't even fucking know where third place is. They're probably done with the fucking race. As opposed to me, who's in fucking fourth. Oh my god, dude, this is awful. This is 
horrible. Sure wish I didn't fucking die for literally no reason constantly. Sure wish I didn't slow down to a fucking crawl whenever I touch a wall. Go! Cool, now I'm dead fucking last. Awesome. I'm so happy about all of the things that have transpired over the course of this event. Oh, I'm stunned I didn't die from that. Oh. Alright, well there's second. Well, like I was saying, I don't fucking know where first place is. But we got second, so that's a fucking start, I suppose. Alright, well... So... The leader is a black one, but that really doesn't matter, because... It really doesn't matter, because you really can't tell the difference between the blue ones and the black ones. And when you're just trying to win every single race anyway, it really doesn't make much of a difference, so... I mean, if I have the option to take someone down, I guess I better take the fucking black one. Getting pissed, Fair Hairnew! Getting sick! Oh my goodness! Great balls of fire!